All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me. You only do so if you absolutely can. There's also all the various YouTube super whatever buttons. We'll obviously be exceedingly grateful for any support of the time being as my dad is not getting paid because of the current government shutdown. If you're watching or listening to this video after the shutdown has already ended, then obviously you can ignore that part. So this will just be a quick video. I was always thinking about this one every now and then, but never really got around to it. So correcting that mistake now, and that is taking a look at what impact have EVs, electric vehicles, actually made worldwide. And the answer is, to most likely the disappointment of many people, not really that much of one. They have been vastly overhyped, and, and numbers have news-wise often been presented with no real context to make them sound big. For example, as we're hitting the end of this year, 2025, it's been reported, roughly correctly, that EVs, electric vehicles, have displaced or prevented roughly 1.5 million barrels per day of oil demand, primarily in the form of gasoline. Obviously, we'll get to that in a second. That would have otherwise grown into existence on top of the continued growth in global oil demand, worldwide oil consumption, that has not stopped despite some claims it's kind of slowed down a bit but also not really to the extent it's been sold as so since their numbers actually started taking off to a meaningful scale have displaced about one and a half million barrels per day of oil demand that would have otherwise been there however that's one and a half million versus the current global oil demand that is here right now, which is about 105 million barrels per day. One and a half, or technically a little bit less than one and a half percent lower than it would have been otherwise. Obviously, the percentage effect is bigger on gasoline specifically, if you narrow down the gasoline demand numbers, as out of that 105 plus million barrels per day of global oil demand, Roughly 25 and a half of that is consumed in the form of gasoline. So plus the 1.5 obviously means that in the absence of EVs, global gasoline demand would otherwise now be at about 27 million. And predominantly looking at gasoline because the oil demand displaced by EVs has almost exclusively been gasoline demand. As, as the overwhelming majority of EVs on the road are EV cars or light vehicles, vehicles that would otherwise be gasoline consuming. Nowhere near any significant amount of diesel consuming vehicles, heavy or small, heavy or small, have been displaced by any form of EV variant. Now, part of the other, not really inflationary, but I guess sensationalist numbers that are usually given out is examples of really small, but in terms of what their consumption levels in terms of gasoline specifically already were, effectively micronations. As for example, looking at Norway, even rolling back to about 2020 or before, before EV adoption there really took off, their gasoline consumption was effectively nothing compared to the global total. It made up less than a tenth of a percent, a mere 20,000 barrels per day, out of the roughly 25 million, and it has, as you can see, gradually dropped by about 1,000 per year. So you'll see examples like that pop up in news media of countries like, per se, Norway having replaced cars with EVs, which is not actually the case. That's going to take quite a while. But even in that case, those particular cases effectively mean nothing because in consumption levels, the nations being presented are basically micronations. So roughly one and a half million barrels per day of oil demand, or specifically gasoline demand, have been displaced by EVs thus far. But the rate of displacement, additional displacement per year, has not even yet reached a level to where it is stopping or neutralizing continued growth in gasoline demand. Any of the major upcoming sudden drops in gasoline and oil demand overall are primarily going to be caused by economic downturns and implosions. 
such as the upcoming Chinese invasion of Taiwan, for example, that's not only going to affect China and Taiwan, but is going to pretty obviously have, you know, large reaching global knock on effects. Any economic suppression from sharply rising oil prices from any new conflict that arises in the Middle East, as there is effectively always going to be a new one eventually, and even just the general upward bend in average fuel efficiency actually has had far more of a suppressive effect and will continue to bear more weight on gasoline demand in particular than EVs entering the market will for quite some time as there are vehicles now that have been brought up to what is effectively the miles per gallon fuel efficiency ceiling of the most energy you can actually get out of a gallon of gasoline, that being roughly 60 miles a gallon or so. If you're driving correctly, some of those vehicles are achieving that, including the newest Prius model, the Hyundai Ioniq hybrid, etc. But not everybody owns those or even vehicles like those. Most people still just own regular cars, but regular cars, however, have gone up. So if you rough those numbers out, that upward trend in fuel efficiency has displaced something closer to a range of between 5 on the low end and 10 at the high end. As without that climb in vehicle fuel efficiency over the last 20 years, global gasoline demand would otherwise be anywhere between 30 and 35 million barrels per day instead of only 25 and a half. So overall, EVs have had a negligible impact up to this point, and compared to vehicle fuel efficiency, they're still going to have a much smaller impact for another few years to come at least. But anyways, that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon and all the YouTube button stuff or whatever are down there if you want to support me and would do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a drive folder that has all kinds of different graphs like the ones you saw on screen across all kinds of energy and mining and different resource topics. Those are all free to access at any time. There's also a link in the top and comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you and I will see you all around next time.